Whitehall residents and police have partnered for a community watch program on wheels. Crime Tracker 10's Jeff Hogan went on patrol with these mobile volunteers. As long as they see us. Gaining visibility in Whitehall, Janice Ritchie and Tracy Highs are part of that city's mobile community watch. We stop and talk to people that don't know about us. If they wave us down, we tell them about us. The mobile watch is a police-backed program gaining ground after a year on the streets. Armed only with a radio and some basic training, they're another set of eyes for law enforcement. We'll listen to calls, and if there was a robbery or something, they're looking for suspects. So we'll go out and help look for them. Helping find lost children to um, reminding residents to, you know, the little things like closing your garage door, um, locking your cars. There are five uniformed watch volunteers right now with room for more because they understand police can't be everywhere. Especially if they're on calls and they're tied up, that still makes us mobile and to be able to look for other things that might be happening. The mobile community watch can actually save the city money. Whitehall police have to check every single street lamp to make sure they're working. That takes a lot of man hours. So all the volunteers are out. If they see one that doesn't work, they tag it so the power company can come fix it. Whether driving the marked vehicle or on foot patrol, it's residents protecting residents, a proactive approach to fighting crime in their neighborhood. Help preventing crime definitely is our goal and I think we are accomplishing it. In Whitehall, Jeff Hogan for Crime Tracker 10. Now, if you're interested in volunteering for the Whitehall Mobile Community Watch, just go to 10tv.com slash crime tracker 10.